New and used RV sales are at a record high. If you don't get an inspection, you may end up paying for things twice. This is Howard with the NRVIA, and this is what to expect when inspecting. Most people will never get up on the roof till the water starts coming in. Roof is where, the roof is where it all happens. The, there's sealant up there, there's rubber, there's possibly fiberglass, there's different types of materials. And if there's problems with the sealant, if there's problems with the roof, if there's puncture marks from trees, that will lead to water intrusion that will come through vents, come through possible skylights, and you don't always see that until it's too late. Might be staining, might, de might be delamination, might be soft spots in walls, and these are all issues that can be uncovered through an NRVIA inspector. What we tell people, what we suggest, is get up on that roof, and if you start seeing fine cracks, rather large cracks, ripples, bubbling in your roof, uh, places where that roof material has suffered some tree damage as you've been driving through parks, that's when it's time to do something about it. As you're up there, if you're unsure what actually is going on with your RV roof, then it's time to hire that NRVIA inspector. Have them take a close look at that so they can uh, give you some guidance and make some suggestions of things that need to be accomplished by a qualified RV technician so you can keep the water out. If you'd like to find a certified NRVIA inspector, you can go to nrvia.org and locate one there. Thinking about becoming a certified RV inspector? Click on the link below to download the latest copy of our ebook and learn what it takes to become a certified NRVIA RV inspector.